In this recording, we will cover quality issue creation for a customer complaint within QIM. When you get logged into SAP uh, NetWeaver Business Client for QIM, you'll notice that a home page comes up, uh, but we've got a navigation area over here on the left-hand side, and we're going to be looking at the, the creation process uh, within a quality issue guided. Um, that's our first selection that we have over here on the left. And what this does and allows us is to go through the, the steps or the um, information that, that we think is necessary within those steps to uh, complete in order for you to put the uh, customer complaint into the system. The, the second option down is a quality issue quick screen which just uh, provides basic information uh, to fill out and, and get a customer complaint into the system. And the last is more for an advanced user. It's the quality issue advanced screen, which allows and, and provides all of the fields as well as the different tabbed information uh, to, to fill out for, for somebody that's more comfortable with, um, you know, knowing how to navigate as well as, um, you know, being a, a, a more of a power user to fill out uh, you know the the required information within the advanced screen we're gonna look at the, the quality issue guided so I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, that option to create a customer complaint in the system so I'm gonna go ahead and now and, and create uh, or, or select the customer complaint here and when the screen comes up you'll notice that we've get we've got some numbers here at the top. So each one of these numbers we're going to be able to look at um, and you know there's uh, additional information on each one of these these um, screen areas once we go through one through five and, and we'll just see what type of information you know is needed you know as we go through here. You'll notice that my name comes up in the reported by. Um, we can do a right click here for uh, certain fields and say that yes we would like to use these as a default. So I've defaulted my name because I always know that when I get logged into the system I'm going to be the person entering the customer complaint. We then will want to just uh, you know give a, a short uh, description of what the issue is. And that's just uh, you know just a very generic or or short description uh, text here. Um, under the detailed description area, you have uh, where we can um, enter any additional information as needed. And this is a long text area, so um, if you need to, we can provide any uh, additional information. And and that. Um, you know, if we want to have and, and write a short story, um, you know, that information would be provided, you know, within this long text area. So in addition to that, one, one of the main um, or, or the main reference object is, uh, you know, important to filling out this customer complaint. I'm going to go ahead and select this drop down and we'll search. We, we've got different search criteria that you can see here. We've got delivery item, material, and plant, and, and we're basically looking for an outbound delivery item that we can have that, that is uh, you know, going to be our, our link between the customer complaint and the outbound delivery item uh, you know, for which the, the complaint was requested for. I'm going to use uh, material, and, and we're just going to search for an outbound delivery item, so once I've um, entered my material and hit start. We'll notice that we've get we've got some options here, and I'll just pick that first line item, and and bring that back into our customer complaint. So now we've we've got an outbound delivery item associated with the customer complaint. Um, right down below it, we we now need to say, or or have a uh, you know a grouping of what type of uh, issue this is. And once I go ahead and pick, I'm going to say, well, it's a logistics issue or a quality issue. And I'll just go ahead and, and pick quality for now. And, and we can 
Um, notice that uh, we're going to be using this later to help with uh, our uh, BRF plus, you know, our, our decision table for some activities. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, attach a file. So we've got all the, the basic information here at the top filled out under issue definition you know we, we've uh, assigned our main reference object as well as our issue code and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach a file or a picture of that uh, that TV that we've um, said had been broken and I'll just pull that in So now that we've got our attachment, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I can select this link here and it will bring it up um, and, and just show us within you know the uh, this uh, HTTP link. Otherwise, if I wanted to, I could have that line item selected and go to the download and select open down here and it would provide um, the actual file type of you know what what we had attached it with. So now that I've I've got everything on this first screen that I filled out under describe issue, I'm going to go ahead and select on uh, you know the, the second selection option, and you'll you'll notice here at the top it says well within that reference quantity, um, you know we've got four pieces, and I can say well we only want to do a complaint against one of them. Um, so we'll want to, to fill out our complaint quantity and, and then you'll notice down here by selecting that outbound delivery item we have some additional reference object information um, that, that gets pulled in you know as, as we um, see necessary or um, you know this is the, the standard information that, that gets pulled in uh, by, by selecting that outbound delivery item. So we, we also have our outbound delivery as well as our material plant and then our customer sold to and shipped to. We can also add um, you know a different uh, additional objects or sub objects as needed if there's another plant or if this is a, a batch uh, you know material we can also add some additional information or, or, or sub objects you know within here too as well. So this is the information that, that we're um, you know, grabbing from the ECC side, uh, which allows us to now uh, you know, associate the, the customer complaint with uh, you know, this information here. So after the, the define reference objects, I'm going to go ahead and select now define urgency and partners. And once urgency uh, section is up here at the top, we just need to define on you know how big of a priority it, it is. I'm just going to pick urgent for now, and then we also have another criticality. Um, we can say well it's uh, critical, partially critical, or, or not critical, and I'm just going to select something here just so we can you know have something entered in that criticality as well. Um, and and this can help uh, you know drive on on what um, you know type of priority is uh, you know associated with it so we, we know how you know if this is going to be a bigger concern um, you know with with this customer complaint or not um, you know we can look at that too as well within the work list and, and be able to run it you know by priority to see what outstanding items we do have we've also got a requested start or a requested end date I'm gonna go ahead and pick for the requested start date for today for today's date and the requested end date will just say you know by Saturday these are, are two fields that you know are, are in here um, and populated manually um, so these are just uh, you know some dates that we would be able to have to say yes we would like to start uh, you know these these uh, uh, this customer complaint today in addition to this uh, we, we've got business partners that will be notified you know within the customer complaint process um, over here on the right hand side you'll notice that uh, two of them say rule so we're using um, B, uh, BRF plus decision table to uh, bring these uh, 
partner rolls in along with who needs to be assigned to it uh, by, by some certain criteria that we're using. One being that we could do it by plant or uh, by issue, uh, issue code that we can assign certain individuals that they're going to be a part of the uh, customer complaint process here. Uh, and in addition to that, I can also add, you know, manually if we would like to say, yes, I want somebody as an interested party. We can run a, a search here and look at the, the different people that are available, um, you know, out there to, to be a part of or at least to be notified um, that there is a customer complaint out there. So I'm going to pick uh, Tim and, and now we've, we've added him as well, um, you know, to the, the other uh, business partners that we, you know, specifically had in there to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and select the activities. And we'll, we'll notice here that um, we have also have BRF Plus uh, being used for who uh, should be assigned uh, to the activity, you know, this initial activity. And, and I'm going to show you, because um, we've got BRF Plus uh, working here too as well, and, you know, I'm going to just say yes, I'm, uh, you know, playing the role of Tim to, to say, well, is it a quality or logistics issue? And we've got a response value over here that says yes it's, it's logistics or quality and by doing so once we go ahead and complete this activity we'll have some additional activities that that come in uh, to play here you know within this this customer complaint process so by selecting that yes it's a quality issue we get four additional uh, activities that that come in into um, you know the, the process here as well and if we would have picked logistics, we would have had, you know, some logistics activities here, uh, you know, that, that could be processed, uh, you know, too as well. So I just wanted to show you, um, you know, what that looks like. Um, some of, of uh, BRF Plus bringing in those activities uh, within the, the activity screen. And then, you know, we would just go in and assign the appropriate uh, person responsible for these activities or we could look at having them defaulted uh, depending on um, you know how we would want to you know do this for um, you know our customer complaint process. I'm going to go ahead now and select the review and finish and this screen here is just providing all of the information that, that we had entered um, you know from those first four steps and, and we're getting a chance now to look at all of the information that, that we've went in and put in to fill out this uh, customer complaint for the uh, you know guided screen here. Um, if everything looks good, what we want to do is uh, either hit save and then save and set to in process. Um, you know the way that I look at save is we want to get this into the system, but we would also like somebody to review it just to make sure that, you know, yes, this is going to be a true customer complaint. And then, you know, a coordinator or, or somebody that, uh, you know, is capable of making that determination would, you know, then go ahead and set it to in process. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just select save. And, and once I hit save here, um, you know, we'll, we'll get our customer complaint number, um, you know, that we get associated with, uh, you know, our, our customer complaint that we just entered. So we get our, uh, you know, customer complaint number up here and just some basic information of what we just entered into the system. And then you'll notice over here that we could actually go into, uh, back into that, uh, that customer complaint, either in change or display, or if we wanted to create another one, uh, we could do so here as well. 